Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Earthbound Blind. In the last episode, we defeated the boss of the Lilliput Stats, which was that weird mole, and we also came back here to Tucson to bring Paula back home, but instead she's coming with us, and we got the Wada Bills from Everdread. In this episode, I believe I know what to do with that Wada Bills, because before, we fought clowns. And Paula's level 15 from that one clown. Offense by 1, Speed by 1, Guts by 1, Max HP by 3, and PP went up by 2. And she learned Magnet Alpha. I believe that drains PP because we've seen it used on us many a time before. But no, we did not just fight that clown. That's not what I was talking about. We talked to one of the members of the Runaway 5. I believe it was you that we talked to before. And you talked to... You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Okay. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get to our shows with this. Oh, Paula got the backstage pass. Sweet. Aww. I was not expecting that. Okay. Picture taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say... Razor Pickles! Gotta say it every time. Gotta say it differently every time. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Gotta say it differently every time. Alright, do you say anything? I'm starting a line here. I want to take it for today's show, but I may not get it. I love standing in a queue. I was a little who I started with queue. Queuing, I think I talked to you people before. I don't remember. If I, some, I think I do. I think I already did. Okay. Alright, cool. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store is even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. Uh, I don't think I have one. What do you say? You want to see Poofy Fudd, the manager? Right through this door, please. Alright. Now, who do I give this wad of bills to? The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might not be- they may be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt, hehe. <laughs> oh, well, it just so happens. I do have ten thousand dollars. Brand new crisp bills. Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later, after the show, even if we're talking big bucks? I've got the definite rules about handle, how I handle my money matters. Do I go back here and give him the money, or do I just not give it to him at all? Okay, you don't want to even be bothered to even talk about that. Do I need to use the backstage pass to get inside? I don't think so. Let's find out. Here you go. Hurry. You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Okay, that's how we get in. Not bad. I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good-looking waitresses, and there is no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Hey, you kids, how about- how'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? Eh... No, I wanted to walk around so I could talk to the guy right over here. What do you say? You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking it to a Runaway 5 show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. Well then. Well, well, I got a little kid here talking to me and he, like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Not bad. Hello, clown. They seem too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall after all. Okay. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Oh, well, that's good. As long as he means well. Hey, 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 don't get me- don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> okay. The Runaway Five are going to be world-famous bands someday. Okay. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway Five. That's disgusting. Seeing the Runaway Five on stage is my life. Well, you kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. <laughs> Do you like baseball? Sure. I knew it! You can't give it all away. And if I say no? Ah, I see. Well, you don't look like you could figure out a sophisticated game like baseball anyway. What a jerk. La 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 la, I just love ragtime. Okay. Lucky if the Runaway 5 told me I can go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please, please, please? I could pose as your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Uh, I wanted to talk to that one guy, dude. Okay. I'm so excited, I might just wet myself. My heart is gonna go in pitter-patter. Well, yeah, in the old days, there was a lot of dances and acts at the theater. Except now, we've, we're the only act playing here. We even got gone into debt here, so we, we we're pretty near stuck. Huck, yuck, yuck. The folks of Tucson will enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years. It looks like, to me... Okay. shabba doo wop diddly dee da shabba dee doo bee bop wah I got those debt tunes. 
If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debt and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It'll maybe rust it out. Hmm. I wrote the lyrics of most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what it taught. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. Set freedom, freedom. Freedom is what we're really sought. Okay. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. Hey, you got to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Do I give you the money? You want $10,000, right? Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow! Did you take the money from me? No. Do I give one of you the $10,000? Well, hello, you got cash and some nice stuff to boot. Hock, yuck, yuck. I guess not. Let's get out of here. Oh. Yeah, that's right! Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at you! Rockin' and rollin' live on this here stage for a limited time only! The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five, and here they come! Oh yeah, baby! Ooh, are we actually gonna watch this show right now? Let's do it. That was actually pretty good. I was rocking my head to that the whole entire time. Alright, what do you say? A young fan like you really gets into Runaway 5's music? Wow, I'm impressed. Sweet. You get the bouncing. Alright, you've already, all right, I've already talked to all of you. Alright, now do I go in the backstage again or do I go to the manager and talk about money? And do I still have that backstage pass? I do, so if I need to come back here, I can. Cool. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, pardon me. Thank you. Alright, let's go talk to that manager about them bills. The Runaway 5 owes me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for 100 years. Oh, I've already talked to you. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I got that money. You want it? Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway 5 are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Oh, there they are. Well, what do you know? This little snip, this little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure all I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? Oh, the Runaway 5 really... Alright, yeah, I've already talked to you. Alright. We got the Runaway 5 out of their debt. We can now send them home. I suppose I'll never see the Runaway 5 show again. That's kind of unfortunate, my friend. Let's go to Threed. Our, our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want to ride? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. To the bus! Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way! <laughs> now this is cool. We finally get to leave Tucson and move on to another town. And according to Paula, there's a new friend that we'll meet there, so I wonder who that's gonna be. I wonder what 3 does even like. Is it as cool as Tucson? Or is it like crazy? I don't know, I guess we'll find out when we get there. This is just a nice stroll on the runaway bus. Oh, there's a present there I missed! Are you serious? Oh, I have to... Oh, man. That better not be important, because I really kind of want that present now. Haha, <laughs> ghosts. You can't even chase me right now. You can't even do it. Oh, there they go. Can't even touch me. They can't even touch me. Dark over here.
Huh. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you could light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Foreside? Alright, so let's check the map here. We got the hotel, we got the shop. The desert is to the east. This place seems really messed up here. Anything in the trash can? Plain old garbage. Alright, let's check the drugstore first. I think that's the first place to check. See if we get any new equipment here. Ooh, yes we do. Alright, but let's go ahead and see how much money we got in our account here. 2268. How much money do I want to take out? Let's take out 1500 and see if we can buy everything we need from this. Alright, we need the minor league bat for Ness, because that will make Ness much stronger. And I can sell the sandlot bat, yes. And now I want to buy the thick fry pan for Paula. So she can get a little bit stronger with her physical attacks, even though I guess they're not that strong to begin with, but whatever. Uh, what else can we buy? We can buy the hard hat, but it doesn't change our stats. It doesn't seem like it does anything. And we already have the copper bracelet. And I think we're good, I think, right? Uh, what what do you sell again? You probably sell the... Yeah, all this other, all this other stuff. What does the calorie sink do? I'll buy that just to just to see what it does. I mean, it doesn't really hurt to check it out. So let's see. Carol is sick. When eating, you recover about 60 HP. Okay, so it's just a healing item. I mean, I have life up for that, but I mean, I guess that's not the end of the world. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. That doesn't sound very good. The headquarters of the Zombie Relief Corps is in the circus tent at the center of town. We want to crush the zombies, except I think they'll crush us. Oof. Okay. So, where do I start by exploring here? There's a house right here. I might as well explore that. No one's here now! Okay. Makes things a little bit easier. What's in here? Hello. Yeah, I work for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard may be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gygus is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? Well, you made me realize that Gygus might be an it. How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? I don't even know, like, what's the hubbub about this place? This place doesn't seem too dangerous yet. I haven't really got to see how bad it is. This town might seem very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the, the town back from the zombies. I don't see the zombies. There's a rumor that there is an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. What's up with people wetting their pants, dude? I'm so scared of the zombies, I spent all of my time running from them. I can't even get home. Hmm. What are you doing, Yomir? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? That's weird. Ooh, what the heck? What the heck are this stuff for? If I can't buy anything for Paula or Ness, I feel like that might be the friend that Paula was speaking about. And it seems that everybody's in the circus? Hello. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know. The zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. Okay. I'm glad you're gonna help us, but you're pretty young. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may just get munched before we have a chance to do anything. Hmm. I haven't seen a single zombie yet, so... What's the hubbub? Alright, well... Let's just keep looking around, see what we can find. I saw a suspicious woman talking with the zombies around here. What's in the hotel? Do I even want to sleep at the hotel? I mean, I even I might want to, actually. Oh, wow! I, can have the, I have the money for that, why not? It healed me, that's for sure, but was it worth $120? It probably wasn't. So, sir, are you going out? The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different from the normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what is in it. Destroy the humans, hold the town for our glory, and for the glory of our master. That's pretty bad, actually. Hello, friend. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. 
The graveyard, huh? That seems something of importance that I should probably go to. Alright, what's in here? Oh, that's the ATM. I don't need the ATM right now. I've already took out some money. So I'm all set. For now. Alright. So where is this graveyard? Is that going to be this way? It seems like it. There's a bunch of open space up here. Wait, what's over, what is this thing? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, there's the graveyard. There's a bunch of bugs and stuff. Alright. How do I get into the graveyard? I think that's where I want to go. Uh, I probably don't want to keep this episode too long here. There's a magic butterfly. I don't need it because I already healed. But there's a bunch of tra- Trash. I thought there were actual things. The smelly ghost and its cohort. Uh, fire? 77 and 4. Okay, so... Oh, you can't... Don't do this. 39. 41 damage to Ness. Holy crap. Uh, what works? Do you die to freeze? There it is. There's the damage. 34 to me. That's a lot of damage. Stop it! Ah... Uh, I guess we'll do freeze again. And the figure of the smelly ghost went downtown. 30... Alright, I need to heal this. So let me go and use... Actually, I could just hit with him and then go and use that calorie stick on this. There we go. Oh gosh. Don't do this. Let's just do freeze alpha and see if that does anything to this guy. There it is! Alright, yep, he was definitely weak to ice. 7, 8, 18. Alright, so those enemies are looking pretty disgusting. So let's go and heal me. Paulus should be fine. And what? A what? Those flies are at? Why? Why? The no good fly and it's... And it's crap. Dang. Oh, well, they don't really do a lot. Oh, don't do this. Uh, how much is Alright, you know what? The freeze beta on this- on this guy should be some damage. There it is. Yep. I feel like these bugs are weak to fire. I mean, bug is always weak to- Fire. Alright, let's try this out, shall we? Oh, uh, well- Oh, that's- that's big damage. That is some big damage. Yep, there we go! Sweet! And Ness level 21. Luck by 1, maximum HP by 1, PP 1 by 2. Now, as I was doing, uh, let's go and use life up on Ness. And let's use life up on Paula, and then I will heal their PP. And we will be all set to continue on exploring. Except, I think we're going to be doing that in the next episode, because we are pretty good on time here. Next time on Earthbound Blind, we're going to explore more of Thread and explore the rest of the graveyard. Because according to that one NPC, this area seems very important, so we'll be sure to check it out. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Earthbound Blind. Take care, everybody, and have a great day.